Welcome back to News 5 at 5. Tonight we begin the final segment of our series, Violence in Church. All week we've shown you how different church leaders are forming security plans for their properties. News 5's Emily DeVoe is live in our studio with a look at one of those plans in action. Emily? Well, that's right. The Brownsville Assembly of God in Pensacola started their team about 20 years ago when they noticed a large group of people were coming to the revival and some of them were starting some trouble. Of course, over the years, that team has evolved and today it's as extensive as any professional team. Give us wisdom in how we move today. And we pray that nothing will occur. That you will give us the courage to stand up against tyranny. Amen. Amen. While churchgoers walk into the Brownsville Assembly of God for Sunday service, Ray Vault is in the back room praying with his security team. Amen. Amen. We have two teams. They alternate Sundays, and there's about six shooters on each team. Ray lets us record him, but the rest of the church members on the team remain anonymous for their protection. Most of the guys are former military, and uh, I'm a former police officer. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a retired Secret Service guy. We have uh, an Escambia County sheriff. By the time the first song starts, Ray has already assigned each team member a designated post. Looking around the church, you wouldn't know who's on watch and who's just part of the crowd. We just go around and lock every door in this facility that it cannot be accessed from the outside, but only from the inside. The only ones open are the four-year doors. Most of what they provide comes out of their own pockets, but their services are as extensive as a professional security team. I'm sure churches all around this city are going to start building a security team of some, some type if they don't have one now. Men don't rise to the occasion. They sink to the level of their training. Jimmy Meeks leads seminars all over the country to help churches create a security plan much like the one at Brownsville. Do what you have to do when the wolf shows up, but don't let him kill the sheep. As far as having armed security, if a church wants to do that, man, we, we bless that. If they don't want to, do something else. There's other options available. His main goal is to get church leaders to stop thinking a cross on the door equals protection. That's simply not true. Jesus said that be on your guard. Men will harm you in the house of worship. And when a place of worship becomes a place of protection. Could you love your flock enough to protect them? It's no longer an easy target for criminals. We've received some messages from other churches who have security teams. It's not necessarily a new concept, but with more church violence showing up in the news, like the pastor in Ohio who was shot and killed on Sunday, we'll probably see more teams popping up. Live in the studio, Emily DeVoe, News 5.